So, following hot on the heels of the 1950 Telecaster came this, the Stratocaster of 1954. It's very futuristic, it's one of the most copied solid body guitar designs in existence, and it's nearly 65 years old. It looks very futuristic, very modern. Imagine American cars of the time having similar lines to this. So it had the synchronized tremolo system, which was basically designed uh, as a pitch, proper vibrato, as a pitch variation. So it would go down in pitch, ideally. You did have a certain amount of up as well, but then you risk your strings. So it was a proper variation in pitch and the better models tend to keep the tuning after using the whammy bar. So cheaper ones, cheaper Stratocasters, cheaper designs, other manufacturers, they're not so reliable. This one is a 1993 Stratocaster and by that time, by the 80s and the 90s, they were experimenting with other things such as different pickups and this thing here which is called the Wilkinson nut which is um, a pair of rollers that the strings go over which is one reason why the tuning is retained when I use the tremolo because the strings are freely able to move um, up and down. Um, the larger Wilkinsons here tended to go wrong but mine hasn't yet and I've had it for over 20 years so I'm not going to bother changing it until it does. Things like locking machine heads as well where you put your string in and you tighten the peg up so that the string is uh, completely held uh, by the uh, by the nut on the back. So the three pickups here somebody uh, on YouTube said what can a Strat uh, what can a Tele do rather that a Strat can't and the answer is if you look at the Telecaster the pickups the two pickups are roughly arranged where the outer two pickups of a Strat are situated, but no positioning of the switches allows the two pickups to be brought in together. So that's one thing it can't do. They're very different sounds, they're different bodies. To compare a Strat and a Tele, I mean, they have similar sounds, especially with the, uh, the neck pickup, it's quite similar on a Strat to a Telecaster, but there are differences. Now, there are a couple of extra switches on this uh, that I put in. Um, I used to have a humbucker here, so I'd have a coil tap there, um, which basically decides whether you've got both coils of your humbucker or just one. But I renewed all the pickups. In fact, the, the pickup that used to be there is now in my shovel which you can see a demo of as well. You can see that there's a, a Seymour Duncan hot rails in my shovel, my double base, which kind of accidentally worked. So I went to Bare Knuckle Pickups, uh, which is a company based in Falmouth, Cornwall, that hand make hand wire pickups. Uh, and they it made me pick the guitar up again after some years of leaving it in its case. So the pickup combinations then, we've got at the far end, we've got this pickup which is quite a sort of harsh trebly sound. Then we've got the middle one, which is a little bit more bassy, a little bit silkier. And then the bassy one, the neck pickup, is your mellow one. There's the middle one again. And there's the bridge one. Now, there are intermediate positions as well. If I bring the selector switch back one position, it's five way this one, as opposed to the Telecaster's three position switch. This one brings in these two pickups, which gives a kind of almost a sort of out of phasey sort of sound. It's a very, Clapton uses it a lot. So, We've got the middle pickup and then the second to last one, which are these two pickups together. So it has a very similar sort of out of phaseness to these two, but it gives it a little bit more of a mellow sound. Now, the Telecaster configuration, the middle pickup, which gives you the outer two, you can't get on a standard strat, but that's what this second switch is for. In this position where I've got my neck pickup, if I flick that other toggle switch, I now get the outer two pickups. Mm -hmm. 
So just the neck pickup. And the way that I've got it wired, because it only works in this position, if I have the second to last uh, pickup position, actually with that switch there, I get all three. They are quite subtly different though. It's, it's hard to tell sometimes, but it shows up more on a recording rather than in a live setup. So you've got it, um, at the moment, you're hearing it through the AC30 there. If I just bring it over to the Marshall, uh, you can hear what the um, what the Strat does through that instead of the uh, Telecaster. <laughs> And then through the JC120, as we had before, the transistor model here, you can the uh, pickups are a little bit easier to actually hear the difference between them because we've got a sort of a clean, jazzier sound here. I do quite like the three pickups together. I think it just, they all lend themselves. They all contribute their sound to a quite a nice whole, really. Now, lots of people mod their strats. Well, I've kind of done a little modification here with the switching, but the tone controls here, uh, these this tone control operates on this pickup and that one sorry, that one operates on this pickup. But also, unlike many strats, this tone control also affects this one. And this has a sort of what's called a TBX tone control, which is meant to be a sort of a mid boost. And lots of people actually have active circuits built in uh, where you can actually get lots more level out of your guitar. So you kind of do that and it's like having a gain switch on your amp. I don't have such a thing here. I'm a bit more of a leave things as they are sort of in in terms of electronics i just had this set up here so that if i went out with this guitar i could kind of get a telecaster ish noise so there it is there's the 1993 strat plus deluxe there's many many different models out there but really the design hasn't changed an awful lot since 1954 there we go